This is a summary of the sets of numbers from chapter 1. Okay, so I've outlined here all the different sets of numbers. I'm going to talk about each in detail. The natural numbers are the lowest set of numbers, so to speak, meaning the smallest set. Those numbers are 1, 2, 3, and on up. They're also called the counting numbers. As we go up, the next largest set are what are called the whole numbers. They are the natural numbers plus they add 0 to it. Going up from there are the integers. They're the whole numbers, so 0, 1, 2, 3, and on up, plus the negative numbers, so negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and going all the way down to uh, negative 20, etc. From there, we have the rational numbers. And the rational numbers are all the integers, plus any number you can write as a fraction of an integer over an integer. For example, like 2 thirds. 2 is an integer, as is 3. 1 fourth, 0.7 repeating. This dash over here is a repeating symbol. So to kind of summarize, it's the fractions, as I said, plus it includes terminating and repeating decimals. So for example, 0.7, not repeating, it can be written as 7 tenths. Point, uh, three, three, so point 0.3 with a repeating symbol over it is the fraction 1 third. Moving on up from there are the set of real numbers. They are the rational numbers, so all these numbers here, the integers plus all of these, plus a set called the irrational numbers. And those irrational numbers are up here, a description. They're the square roots of non-perfect squares, so for example, the square root of 7, the square root of 2, the square root of 11, the square root of 8, um, and then non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. So for example, pi. That goes on forever and it does not repeat in any multiples of pi also. So if you note here, the square root of a perfect square will give you, like the square root of 4, will give you an integer, which will give you 2. So that is a summary of all the sets. There is a set called the complex numbers above the reals, but we're not going to be discussing that in this course. Okay, so some examples here. So what is an example of a number that is a real, but not a rational? So if we think back here, so a number that is a real, but not a rational. So that has to be part of this irrational set. Go back. So this can be um, any square root of a non-perfect square, or any multiple of pi, or in essence any non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. So we could use something like 3 pi as an example that for this one. And the second example, what is the example of a number that is a whole number, but not a natural? Let's go back. So the whole numbers are the naturals plus zero, if you recall. So I think we only have one option for this guy, and that would be zero. So this is a summary of the sets of the numbers.